child who is undergoing treatment for a life-threatening medical condition has so much of normal childhood taken away from them, so much of their decision-making uh, ability, so much of their normal experiences with playmates and friends and, and siblings. It is so long and so arduous. It robs so many, many of the normal childhood experiences um, from a child and from, from their family. As a physician, as a clinician, there is much that we can do. Sometimes we do everything we can do, sometimes we do too much. You run into a family that is uh, out of control with their life. Uh, they have circumstances imposed upon them that they never would have signed up for or dreamed that they would be in that position. In rare disease, sometimes I can't give a family a diagnosis. Sometimes I have no treatment even if I get the diagnosis and I almost never have a cure. So what can I offer this family that I can't offer much to? There are medications that we can provide, there are treatments that we can administer, and yet there are pieces missing from that that can only be filled by the impact of a WISH experience. A WISH is something that we as a community have said we're going to offer and show our support for a family that doesn't feel very supported sometimes by the medical community. And I think a wish is a really meaningful way that we connect with families that medicine ha doesn't have much else to offer to them. There's so many ways in which they're singled out from their siblings and their peers in a, in a negative way. They miss a lot of school, their hair falls out. Make-A-Wish allows them to be singled out in a very, very positive way. And I think that's a very special thing. A wish gives me the chance to give the family something from all of us as a community. It comes from the medical community, it comes from the whole population saying, your child is not forgotten. The beauty of Make-A-Wish is it's incredibly simple. It is that intangible object that, quite honestly, I cannot order from the pharmacy. I cannot write a prescription for. The kids that come in here every day and the multiple times they revisit, it's just, they make the best out of what they can in this sad situation. And then just giving them an enlightenment and hope of something to look forward to. You just see it in their faces, this idea of thinking outside their current moment in time. It's an unsaid power that these experiences can give these kids. And, you know, these are kids that are living longer. They're living better. They're having more fun in their life. And it all started with one experience, and that was their wish. We don't need studies to show this, but now there are studies that are coming out. It just seems so intuitive, right? You have something to look forward to and it makes you be more compliant with your treatment plan, so then it's gonna impact your physical, your emotional, your psychological well-being. It's interesting, the, the uh, study from Israel, it's significant because it's one of the first studies that we've actually looked at regarding the outcome or the impact of a wish, uh, looking at the medical aspect of the child. What it does show is that a child that has a wish, there is a measurable change in their outlook. They have something else that gives them life in a sense. Because at this point, this is your life. When you're going through these unfortunate times, it is your life. You're not going to school, you're coming to the hospital. That is your life but there is something else out of this life that you can actually enjoy yourself, that makes you happy, that doesn't make you sick. And I really feel that that's what the parents feel, that there's something that can make their child happy during this time. My favorite wish is the next one. And the one after that. And the next 10. And the next 100. Because as with life, a wish has less to do with what has been and more to do with what's coming up.